Hey everybody, Danny Mod here. Thanks for joining us this week. How do you get an effortless golf swing? This was a question from a recent client of mine, Steve. He comes to see me. He's trying so hard to increase the distance on his iron shots. The problem was he was just getting this weak trajectory out to the, to the right, um, not flying very far. His ball striking was really inconsistent and he was getting a little bit confused. He'd been trying actually to stay really still over the golf ball because his interpretation was if he stayed still over the golf ball, he would, it would increase the likelihood that he would actually strike the ball properly. The problem is that was the, one of the big things that he was uh, doing, which was causing a lot of the loss of distance and obviously the inconsistency in strike. We gave him a very simple uh, three-step process to really improve his body movement in such a way that add more rhythm and flow to his golf swing. And then as a byproduct, naturally increased his power with half the effort and his ball striking improved too. I'm going to share with you what we did because I know it could benefit you too. Before I do that, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Press that little bell button next to the subscribe button and you get to notified every time I release a video just like this one. So what did we do? Well, like I said, Steve was stood over the golf ball here, really trying hard to strike the ball properly. And in doing so, would stay very, very still. He would, because of this, he would create very much an arm motion here, and he would chop down on the golf ball, often catching the ground behind the ball. We needed to add movement. The problem is, is when we added movement, he interpreted movement as, oh, Danny, but I, if I sway backwards and forwards, I'm going to hit the ball, I'm, I'm going to reduce my consistency. But it was more about how we did it. So what I want to do is I'm going to share with you a simple step-by-step -step process that we did to get Steve feeling the correct movement in the golf swing so you could add that rhythm. And we started off like this, and I want you to do the same. So if you're watching your phone, you're on your computer, what I want you to do now is stand up and no golf club at this stage. And I just want you to do this with me so you can feel how the feet and the pressure works in the ground. I want you to stand there and I want you to do this. Move side to side. Now, I, I didn't come up with this exercise. I actually took this from the world long drive champion who does this as a part of an exercise, but it's a great feeling drill for any of you of any age, right? So just do this with me. Feel how the pressure is going into one foot and then the other foot, your backswing pressure and then your downswing pressure. Just feel that going backwards and forwards. All I did with Steve, this is step one. The next stage, what I want to do is this. As you put pressure into one foot, you're pushing down, watch this. We're going to push, twist and we're gonna twist from the ground. So it's not push, twist here, it's push, and in your feet, just feel that your feet are almost like stood on a screw and they're screwing it into the ground. So we're gonna go push, twist, and watch, push, twist. So it's gonna look like this. Push, twist, push, twist, push, twist, push, twist, push, twist. Most people do either one or the other or in the wrong order, they will either push and they'll just slide, there's no twist at all, or they'll just twist. They won't have both. And Steve clearly was simply just twisting. He was still, and all he did was just do this, okay? Nothing else was working. So try and get this out of push, 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 twist, push, twist. Then grab a golf club now, okay? And all you're gonna do now is this. You're gonna feel that motion. You're gonna start to let the club, maybe just one hand initially, push, twist, push, twist, push, twist, push, twist. Almost maybe if you want, make it a little bit more methodical. Push, twist, push, twist, push, twist, push, twist. Do a few and then start to get into the rhythm of it. Speed up. Push, twist, push, twist, push, twist, push, twist. And now you can start to see the buildup of speed and how the body's starting to work. Now, am I swaying side to side? No, because all I'm doing is I'm pushing my weight into each foot and then the twist happens which keeps me nice and centered and that's what we did now we see to start with we said look just just get a feel for this don't worry about where the ball goes initially get yourself set up and all we did was get this motion going so let's have a look at this in action Now, 
you might find initially it all a bit kind of it's it's almost dis difficult to coordinate this kind of things push twist i'm twisting i'm pushing the point is is you could do this right now at home just to kind of get the sensation and the feel of this way before you start to add a golf swing now you remember you've got developed your own habits and habits are difficult to break and a recent client of mine uh, chris gave me a fantastic exercise to show you to show me actually he taught me something about how difficult it is to actually change a habit. So I'm gonna share with you a simple little anecdote here, which kind of, see, see how you get on with it. Stand up now and fold your arms. Okay, just fold your arms in, in whatever pattern. So you see my, my right hand here is on my, on my left arm, right? Now what I want you to do is put your arms out and try to reverse that process so that this goes over here. Notice how tricky it is to do fold your arms in the opposite direction. That sometimes can be like trying to change your goals. It kind of feels weird, doesn't it? Try it, you tried it? It's weird, isn't it? It's a really, really strange feeling. So sometimes when you're making this motion, it kind of feels like you're rubbing your tummy and patting your head and it's all a bit kind of weird. So just don't hit a golf ball initially with it. Just get the sensation of literally feeling the pressure going into each foot. So first, feel that pressure. Some of you, you might not have felt, ever felt that much pressure going into each foot on the backswing and then the downswing. So this in itself will be new. Then you've got to get the sensation of when the pressure's in that foot, you're going to feel like the pressure's twisting here. You might just want to go feel the backswing first. Push, twist. Then feel the downswing. Push, twist. Do it slowly, methodically initially, just to kind of get sensation. And then when you're ready, start to speed that process up, backwards and forwards. So push, twist, push, twist. When you're ready, add a golf club. Maybe I like to do it one-handed first because it kind of uh, you're able to feel more of the weight of the head and, and you're able to swing it a bit freer. So push, twist, push, twist push twist push twist and then when you're ready if you're right-handed a left-handed playing golf right-handed just simply reverse that process um, a little bit more let's have a look at this so back to the swing we're going to get a sensation of push twist push twist that could be my practice thing push twist push twist and this was a massive difference we had with Steve because suddenly he was making a much bigger turn here. He wound up, he got some energy stored on top of the backswing. He could now start to deliver that on the way through. The first thing he said to me, Danny, he said, my God, Danny, it feels like I'm swaying miles off the golf ball. I put him on camera. He's nice and centered. But the feeling for him, he felt like he was swaying because he had so much more movement. His interpretation of hitting the ball well was trying to stay still, trying to be under control. But this was under control. He was still centered, but he was now got the correct style of movement through the shot. So take your time with it. Maybe peg up a ball initially. Get this sensation backwards and forwards. And away we go. So push, twist, push, twist. And it's as simple as that. Now, my own personal problem sometimes, I sometimes find that I might get a push, but I don't get a twist, so I get a bit stuck underneath. That can cause me to hook it. For those of you, if you slice a golf ball, what tends to happen for, for most people who slice, and it certainly was the case with uh, Steve, so they get to the top of the backswing here, and what happens is all they do is they, they twist. There's never a push down first, and therefore they simply just throw the club over the top. So watch out for that. But apart from that, it's as simple as that. So take it up, I summarize, take it up step by step. Start with this motion first. Feel the pressure going into each feet. Push, 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 twist the screw, push, twist the screw, make it methodical, then see if you can start to speed that process up. Add the golf club, so you feel you get that timing. And then bit by bit, be patient with it. This exercise shows you sometimes how difficult it is to change your habits. So give it a go. Hope you enjoyed the training. If you do, share it with some of your friends. This one's a great one if you, for a beginner as well. If you're trying to learn the coordination of the golf swing, please share it. It will really, really help. And of course, this will be your first videos of mine. Come and join the community by pressing the subscribe button and the bell. Until next week, have a great golfing week.